Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I continue my series of tutorials where I demonstrate how to use keyboard shortcuts in Excel. The keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to demonstrate today are cut, copy, and paste. Especially important is the difference when we cut a formula as opposed to when we copy a formula. I'll also later on in the lesson show you how you can use the office clipboard. So the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to use over here, control C to copy your selection to the clipboard, control X to cut the selection to the clipboard, and control V to paste either the cut selection or the copied selection. Later in the lesson, I'm going to show you uh, what happens when you use the delete key. And throughout the lesson, I'm going to be using the two all-star keyboard shortcuts, Control z Control y Control z to undo your last action, Control y to restore the action that you just undid. All right, let's begin. Over here, I have data sets that contain text entries numeric entries and also cells that contain formulas. Now before I go any further I want to introduce you to a fantastic keyboard shortcut control plus tilde. When you use control plus tilde you can toggle between a view that actually displays the formulas in your cells toggle it back and now you see the result of the formula. Of course the formula is stored up here in the uh, formula bar but we can actually see all of our formulas on the worksheet with control tilde. If we're interested in seeing or editing a single formula or a single cell then use the keyboard shortcut F2. So we can use F2 to edit the formula, but we can also use it to see the cells that it refers to. All right, let's begin. Now, before we can copy or cut, we first must make a selection. So in this case, I want to select four cells. I want to select four cells in a contiguous block. And rather than using the mouse, I'll use the keyboard. So if I hold down Shift and use the directional arrows, I can make my selection of the four cells. Now, I would like to change um, the entry in here. I'd like to have it become copy. So remember I made a selection first. Type copy once and then use control enter and have that changed text appear in all of the cells in the selection. All right, the selection is still there. Let's use control C to place it onto the clipboard. So now you see that little running marquee around the selection. Move over here, control V to paste it. Notice that the running marquee is still active for the selection. So that means that we can paste this n a number of times. Now, let's see what happens that instead of copying, we cut. And of course, if you want to remove the running marquee from the selection, use the escape key. So I want to cut information from four cells. Once again, I want to make my selection. Hold down Shift, select the cells. I want to change the text to be cut. And remember, when you select cells first, use Control Enter to have your revision placed in the entire selection. So this time I'll use Control X to place it on the clipboard come over here and control V. So now you see the difference. There are two differences. Obviously our text entries are in a new location. They literally have been cut out of the original location and notice that the running marquee does not exist. So when we cut we can only paste it one time. Now let me use control Z to undo. And control Z is a wonderful keyboard shortcut. You can actually undo your last 16 actions if you're using Excel 2003 or earlier. If you're using Excel 2007, 2010, you can use Control Z to undo your last 100 actions. And of course, Control Y to restore them. All right, now let's see what happens when we first copy a cell that contains a formula. So this formula is saying stay in this row and give me a sum of the values in this row for three columns to the left through the column that's immediately to my left. So I'm going to place it on the clipboard, control C, and this time I'm going to paste it into multiple locations. So remember up here we selected multiple cells and then selected a single cell to paste. This time I select a single cell with the formula and I want to paste it into multiple cells, control V. 
All right, now of course our original formula remains in place. And now our paste of the formula, it's the same formula. So it's relative to the starting point. It's saying stay in this row and give me the sum of the values from the three columns immediately to the left. And again, we can use our keyboard shortcut control tilde to see how that works. We can use F2 to reveal or edit a single cell. All right, now let's examine the difference when we cut rather than copy. So again, I use escape to remove this from the clipboard. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to cut the cell that contains the formula, control X and I'll move over here control V. So you see the formula result is the same because it's pointing to the original cells. So unlike copying the cell with the formula which is going to copy the relative cell references when we cut the cell that contains the formula it refers back to the original cells. It refers back to the cells that feed into the formula. Let's use control Z. Now this time Let's see what happens if we cut the three cells that feed into the formula. Select them, control X, and then let's come over here and control V to paste them. Now notice that again, here's the cell with the formula and the result is the, is the same as it was originally. It's now referring to the cells that feed into it, but in their new location. Now there is one caveat to this. In this case, the reason that the formula remained the same is that we selected all of the cells that fed into the formula. Let me illustrate what will happen if instead of selecting all of the cells that fit feed into the formula if I made one selection control X control V now you see how the formula result has changed but the formula is still the same so in this case it did not move down to incorporate that cell that I moved it's referring to the original range so if you want to have the formula result remain as it was originally select all the cells that feed into it now I find that it's more free uh, I should use control Z to do that uh, I find it more frequent that you'll select the cell that contains the formula, cut it, and move it to a new location. All right, now I talked briefly about the Office clipboard. Let me come back over here. If you're using Excel 2007, Excel 2010, on the Home tab of the ribbon over here in the clipboard group, you notice this little uh, downward pointing arrow. When you click that, it's going to launch the Office clipboard. And notice over here that you can store up to 24 items from any program. So that means that you could copy something, for example, a chart in Excel, open up Word, and then from the Office clipboard, paste that chart into Word. Or go from PowerPoint and take some information, copy it onto the clipboard, open up Excel, open up the Office clipboard, and then paste it there. So let me illustrate over here. If I come over here and I copy Control C, notice how it now is placed on the Office clipboard. That's the third item over here. And you'll get a drop down arrow to paste it or delete it from the clipboard. Now, the trick here is that in order to collect multiple items to the clipboard, you first must activate it. So in Excel 2007, 2003, come over here. You can, of course, change the options to start collecting it automatically. If you're using Excel 2003 or earlier, you open up the Office clipboard by going to the Edit menu and choosing Clipboard. All right, now let me show you a related concept. What happens when we press the Delete key? The delete key will clear the contents only. In other words, it will not clear the formatting. All right, let's close the uh, clipboard over here. So let's change the formatting. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Control B to apply bold. I'll use Control I for italic. I'll use Control U for underline. Over here, I want to change the uh, font of the entry. Over here, let's say if I change it to be red. And over here, I want for these four cells to change the background. Let's make it this orange over here. So notice what happens when I cut or copy. So I'll control C to make a copy, control V. So you see, I get the entry as well as the formatting. If I cut control X and come down here, control V, I get the content 
as well as the formatting. Let's use Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo, and I'll leave this formatting in place. Now notice that if I click the delete key over here, whatever I type in, it's a new content, but the formatting remains in place. So when you delete, you are only deleting the contents of the cell, not the actual formatting. And that formatting can be subtle. For example, over here, I have a fraction. Now, what if I change the formatting of this? What if I want it to be formatted as a percent? And then I click delete. So if I type in one, two, three, you see I'm getting, <laughs> it's not what I expected. So the trick here when you want to delete not just the content but also the underlying formatting, there is not a keyboard shortcut for this directly. Uh, in this case what I want to do is I'll make the selection. Actually to select a contiguous range I can use Control A and then come over here on the home tab of the ribbon and come over here in the editing group and say clear all. So clear all in this case cleared the content as well as the underlying formatting. Control Z to bring that back. Likewise over here what I have is a date and I've changed the formatting. So if I click delete I type one two three you see the formatting remains. So understand that when you delete or when you are cutting and copying, the formatting is a different element than the content. So this is an example of some popular keyboard shortcuts that you can use. You can see an excerpt of the keyboard shortcuts that I make available for free to anybody who comes on to my website and you can click here to download the complete chart of popular Excel, Word, or other keyboard shortcuts. You simply go to www.thecompanyrocks.com and open up the exclusive membership content. You just register with your first name, last name, and an email and then you can download that chart. So I'll look for you in the next lesson where I introduce you to some additional keyboard shortcuts.